Nelson Nunnally. I'm a high school physics and engineering teacher at Ravenscroft School in Raleigh, North Carolina. And for many years now, I've been using Vernier sensors and software in my classes. Each year in engineering, we do a unit on digital music, where we study how digital music is created and some of the principles of sound that are needed to, to create that music. And so I have the students do a culminating project where they have to create a virtual instrument using LabVIEW and Vernier sensors. Uh, many of the students choose to do something related to a piano, but uh, the students you're about to see had a different take, and they did it using just LabVIEW uh, and a Vernier Lab Pro and a motion detector. So I think you'll enjoy their take on this virtual instrument. something different. My partner and I decided to create a trombone using veneer sensors. Hi, I'm Molly Ducost and the sensor we thought would best fit our project was the veneer motion detector. Um, and so for a real trombone player, in addition to wind support, they must use the slide to change the pitch. So we simulated that with this board and placing it at different distances from the motion detector. diagram and it was pretty simple to hook up the motion detector and have it correspond to a different frequency to play a different note but after that we did run into a couple problems one of them was that the notes would play it would play every single frequency possible and on a real piano or any instrument you wouldn't play all of those notes it's just really 12 notes that you play at different octaves so we used a rounding function to force the notes to correspond with a real note on a piano or any instrument you would find. And we also used an exponential function to convert distances into frequencies because on a real piano, linear distances correspond with exponentially increasing frequencies. So here's a quick demonstration of using a virtual trombone to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. Don't you agree, Rashad? Yes, of course. <laughs>